Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Today we've got an exciting video indeed. I finally got hold of the Mongoose Outriders and I do want to start this video by saying I know this is a bit of a difficult video in some ways because the Mongoose Outriders is so hard to get hold of. There have been some serious issues with this set and it's really only available in Australia. If you are an Australian and you want to reach out to me and provide some of these for retail, I can redistribute them in my own grounds. I've already done a raffle inside the UK. A lot of people entered for six people to be drawn and pay retail for the Mongoose Outriders. And also, if you can't get this, post on one of the Facebook groups, post on Discord, asking any Australians to reach out and help you. But today, for educational purposes, I'm showing off the UNSC Mongoose Outriders. It's got a gorgeous selection of figures, like truly a really, really nice selection. And this is the latest in the series of Mega four figures and one vehicle sets. We had Mongoose Outright, Mongoose Outright, let's say it again. We had Recon Getaway, Hijacked Ghost. We had Ghosts of Requiem. We had another one that I'm thinking of. Gungoose Gambit, and now we've got the uh, Mongoose Outriders. So really just Mongoose and Ghosts, but I've got no complaints with that. Easy, nice promotional packaging, the new Mega logo. There is also a two-in-one build feature with this. You can construct this tiny little mounted turret, which I thought was a fun addition. We're gonna build it up, and then we're gonna review it, and we've got all of the figures in bag number one. Let's take a look. I'm gonna go straight for the Scorpion Punch figure. Scorpion Punch is a classic Halo Infinite armor. It was first showed off in, goodness me, the original alpha or beta of the game. One of the original tech demonstrations, and it's always been, uh, you know, a fan favorite. Mega have actually already released this once before in the Mark VII from Halo Heroes. And as they described, I think on Discord, Kevin said that this was the Scorpion Punch that best represented the original beta version. And this is the Scorpion Punch that best represents the final finished model. It's a slightly more orange arm and shoulder and he's also been given a mechanical leg a prosthetic leg which is cool because you can make all of your limbs in Halo Infinite prosthetics he's also got some really nice gray undertones on his helmet a purple reflective visor gosh I do realize it's been a while since I've made a proper Halo Mega review and it does feel good to be back now on two cameras and would you look at that this is the first time I've ever seen the scrap cannon. Pop it together like so, there we are. Very nice. And it's a two-handed weapon. The scrap cannon is very chaotic. It never really spawns enough in Halo Infinite, I feel. I've not used it enough. Just exceptional quality. Look at that, gorgeous. What have we got next? Let's go for the Elite Ultra. This is a plain gold Elite Ultra. I don't think there are any paint apps to really show off here. I like how Mega have started using like a gray neck, which indicates that the neck is exposed. It's not in the undersuit. Some really nice blue eyes. All looks very clean, no issues with that at all. Always nice to have a gold um, elite. I would love to pop and swap that with the Spec Ops Elite we got in one of the infinite blind bags. That'd be quite fun. And here is the first time I've seen the Pulse Carbine as well. Looking good, Pulse Carbine. A very nice metallic purple. Uh, yeah, this also came out in one of the new Decisive Battleground sets, which I do actually have to unbox uh, pretty soon. I've got that ready to go. Look at that. That is a nice Elite Ultra. Loving that reflection off the gold armor. Very nice. Okay, that's two figures. What are we going to go for next? I guess then we'll go... No, we're going to save. We're going to save Yoroi to last, or Kabuto, if that's uh, the name of the armor set. We've got a Brute Miner. Um, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I think it's time we retire the uh, the Craig head. I think it's I think it's just time. Man. I think uh, Craig's getting tired out there. He served long enough. It was great when you know it was the meme and we were embracing that. But I'd much rather the Halo Wars two head was brought back because it's far more menacing. But I love this uh, light gray under. It's, it's sort of yeah, it's the jumpsuit as well as the uh, secondary on the armor as well. Or I guess the primary on the armor. The skin tone is quite nice. He's got the three fingered hands, or I guess the three th yeah three fingers and the thumb. And then this soft plastic little belt. 
great, great infantry, honestly. I mean, a lot of these figures, like um, the point, I think, of these four figure packs is army building. Like the Recon Getaway is still one of the best for banished army building out there. It's so nice. And he is holding the Ravager. There's not that many times we've seen this so far. He can also hold it on the bottom of the gun when he's sort of just loading it or walking around the base, which is nice for dioramas. Just a great, plain, nice army building figure. We don't have to push the boat out with this. And remember, like, for the price, for getting four figures in a vehicle, the price is just unrivaled. And sometimes when these go on clearance, it's even better. We finally have in our hands a Yoroi armor core, or particularly the Kabuto. Finally, we hold one in our hands, Tinkerbell shoes and all. Looking really good. The Yoroi from Halo Heroes, I actually just received in the mail, but I hadn't got it up until this point. So this is my first Yoroi. You've seen I've barely had any reviews on my channel recently. I've been focusing on other projects, but I'm hitting back with a series of reviews now, which I think will satisfy all. And he comes with the new molded sidekick pistol. Is this with the, like, the new grip, I believe? It's, it's much bigger, which I do prefer. For packs more of a punch, you know, that little sidekick that came out in 2020 was just a wee baby sidekick and didn't really have as much of an impact. So that is four gorgeous figures. Gotta say, you'd be a bit daft if you weren't uh, impressed with that lineup for retail. That is so good. And we haven't even got into the Recon Getaway. If you combine this with the, I think it's the Decisive Engagement set, uh, then you can make a Gungoose as well. And yeah, it is still a shame to see plastic bags, but Mega are going towards sustainable brown paper bags, and I'm all for that transition whenever they can do it. Barely any pieces, like it's not. These, these sets are never a challenging build. So let's just throw this together and then I'll give my thoughts. Well, I'll give my thoughts as I go, of course. So let me know uh, what kind of videos you have been enjoying on my channel recently. I am really happy to see that uh, just two days ago, I released a video talking about Halo Infinite. Usually if I did that, if it was a non-MCX video, it would really perform poorly. It got, it's, it's like climbing towards 2K now, which is so good. I've also been getting some really nice feedback on Reddit and on my Discord. Just shout out to everyone I've been talking to recently. We had our 50K live stream um, on Friday. I played with like a lot of the people who were watching the live stream and that was, you know, tremendous fun, of course. The future's looking good, everybody. Look at that bright orange. That is really nice. I'll do everything in my power to like try and push distribution forward guys. It's top of my priorities to try and make sure that these sets are well distributed in the future. And there's no reason to believe that like if we establish good foundations with like Mattel creations, if things like the new uh, Elephant and Falcon restock and everything sell well, then there's no reason to believe that if sets are badly distributed in the future, they might just not get a, a Mattel drop. I mean, look at the Falcon sweep. It literally, it was poorly distributed. Mega heard they responded with a Falcon sweep drop uh, that is going live on August 28th and then you'll be able to get the Falcon Sweep again. So like, you know, these things are possible and Mega's communication with the community, community communication, is literally like, in my opinion, the best I've ever seen from like really any uh, toy brand out there. Like they are so transparent with us um, and I really do appreciate them for it. All right, we're throwing this together. This is literally no effort at all. <laughs> these builds are so easy. And let me know also if you enjoy the dual cam mode. We've got uh, two cameras going now. I want to try and like seriously improve the quality of my reviews this year. And I thought this was a good first step. Let me know in the, uh, the comments down below, how could I improve my reviews? Like um, more close-up shots, more like spinning shots of the figures. Like what do you enjoy seeing in a review that uh, sort of convinces you to go out and uh, and purchase this set? Like, what do you like to see? Interesting, this is a little bit of a different design to, to most. What's going on here? Am I rushing this too much? I'm definitely rushing it too much. Ah, I see what's going on here. I see what's going on here. You think you could fool me, set? Well, you did for a second there. This uh, suspension was first introduced with the Recon Getaway, and it's so nice. It's such a smart suspension. It, it adapts so well to like any scenery that you put it on. And this Recon Getaway will be sitting nicely on my desk for the foreseeable future, let me tell you that. I'm gonna enjoy this just chilling on my desk. And then where does this one go? That's our last piece. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Almost, almost got it wrong. There we go, so that goes on there, and then that goes on the front. Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, the Mongoose Outriders. It is a very simple set, a very simple Mongoose, but honestly, that's nice. And this is a Mongoose from the game. If Mega makes any Halo Infinite sets, 
all the figures, all the vehicles, all the weapons should be from in-game. Like, why not? You literally have like an enormous library now. It is a very simple Elite Ultra, but it does the job. And that Pulse Carbine is gorgeous. The blue eyes, the gray um, skin exposed. It's a very affordable set, and that is an affordable figure. I think the detail that's lacking is on this Spartan Kabuto. Particularly, this is the first Yori, if not the only Yori people can get their hands on, if they can get their hands on it. It needs a little bit more of a paint app, uh, pretty much anywhere. But the metallic green visor is fun. The new sidekick pistol. I mean, let's talk about the weapons we literally have. The new sidekick pistol, Ravager, Scrap Canyon, and Pulse Carbine. The Pulse Carbine and Ravager had been out in a couple of releases. The Ravager is last season. Uh, the Pulse Carbine is this season, I think. But the Scrap Cannon, my goodness. I mean, including all these new weapons is a blessing. We've got a scorpion punch armor coating. I do kind of prefer the darker red, of course, but like if, if they say this is the more accurate scorpion punch, I'll believe them. And then we've got a, uh, yeah, this brute miner, which is just awesome for army building. Let me know if you have managed to pick up this set and what you would improve about it and what you would improve about my reviews as well. Thanks so much for supporting the channel and hope this uh, new review is well received. It's more, it's, it's the kind of review style I want to go into. It's it's more like there's going to be some cutting and, uh, you know, editing involved, but I want it to just be more like a casual discussion. And I think that will resonate with you guys well, so let me know down below. You stay awesome, you stay safe. Domain, signing off.